Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a Saturday afternoon video right here on the new home of the Gilmore Chronicles now known as The Shadow's Lair. And I'd like to welcome you all inside The Shadow's Lair. This is episode number 34 of The Shadow's Lair series. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down there. You know where. You know where. I'm not going to say it, but you know where. Down in the description box below, show this channel you love and support, as well as my other channels, which are down there. And as always, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, share the video all over the goddamn internet, and don't forget to tap and slap that bell. Treat it like it's your bitch, or hopefully tonight, the San Diego Padres, but we'll see. We shall see. But hit the bell, turn on all notifications so you never, ever, ever miss a goddamn upload. And if you do, well, fuck you. That's all I gotta say about that. Pretty short and simple to, to the point. But if your first time watching, you're just roaming around this channel or on YouTube to see my sexy face. Uh, and you like the content? Hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to get notified. And if you like what you see, like I said, hit, hit the subscribe button. Share the video all over the f place with your friends and have them subscribe. And subscribe to my other channels as well. And show them your love and support. And that's pretty much it. And uh, welcome to the party, pal! And I hope you enjoy the ride. And if not, hop off. And that's all I gotta say. Alright. On this Saturday afternoon, October the 8th, 2022, right in the middle of your Columbus Day weekend. Hope you're having a great, great Columbus Day weekend. You're gonna be off today, off tomorrow, and probably off Monday. Well, most likely you'll be off Monday. Some of you, maybe, maybe you are work. Maybe some of you who don't have off on holidays, you are working, which sucks for you. I don't. But it is what it is. But ha happy Columbus Day weekend to you all. To all you Italians out there. Full-blooded Italian right here, motherfuckers. Gonna have a good, old-fashioned Italian weekend. And um, I hope it's safe and well for you. That's it. Beautiful, sunny, really cold, not too cold, but cold day here in the Northeast. 57 degrees right now at 4 o'clock, almost 4.15 here in the Northeast. Going to get a little bit warmer as we get to the the start of next week. And then next weekend, we're back down. It's supposed to rain next Thursday, which sucks. But we shall see what happens with that. And we'll move on. All right, big night of action tonight, starting at 7.30, 7 p.m., game two of the wild card round between the Mets and the Padres. Padres won last night, 7-1, Max Scherzer did not show up. Big game, Max spontaneously combusted, four fucking home runs, Mets bats and went back to sleep. After sweeping the Nationals, they fell right back to sleep. Now it's do or die tonight at City Field, and hopefully the GOAT will not do what he did the last two starts, especially the one in Atlanta, and pitches, pitches us into Game 3, which will, will be do or die for both teams tomorrow night at City Field. Chris Bassett hopefully will be on the mound tomorrow night. And um, we'll see what happens with that. But the winner of this series faces the Dodgers on Tuesday. So hopefully the Mets can win tonight. Win tomorrow night. And only get one day off. Which is the flyover to L.A. And they begin that division series in L.A. on Tuesday night. But they have to get there first. But we'll see what happens tonight. At City Field tonight. So hopefully the Mets can win tonight. But we'll see. Also, tonight, coming up at, I believe, eight 7 or 8 o'clock, I think it's 8 o'clock, GCW Fight Club Night 1 from the Showboat Casino, 
and Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Going to be a big, epic card. I believe it's on Fight TV, too. Uh, Moxley and Nick fucking Gage, title versus career. I mean, that just speaks for itself. So, that's what I'm going to be watching, most of it. But, it is what it is. But also tonight, which I'll get to in just a second, at 8 p.m. on pay-per-view, the 2022 edition of Extreme Fools, I mean, Rules, coming your way from that shithole in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, I got that. So, big night last night. I'll get to SmackDown, Rampage, and Battle of Belts. Uh, right after this video. So, I'll be going live in um, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes, about an hour or so. So, get you done with that and get you right into Extreme Rules. I will uh, probably be out for that because I'm going out. Uh, the missus just went went out with a friend of, my, friend of ours and I'm meeting them uh, in the city. So, I have to get out of here. Probably by 6 o'clock. So by the time I get there, it'll be like 8. So I'll probably miss a little... Actually, I probably won't miss it. I don't think I'm... Well, hopefully the trains don't mess up, but... I should get there uh, pretty by the time the pay-per-view starts. So, but I will not be doing my review tonight. later tonight. I will be doing it hopefully sometime tomorrow. Would it be in the afternoon or at night? Because I am going out again tomorrow, but that's family business. But it is what it is. That's that. So last night we had a big night of action. SmackDown, Rampage, Battle of the Belts, Impact, Bound for Glory, which was pretty damn good. Lots of returns. Bully Ray returned and won the uh, Call Your Shot uh, Battle Royal. So you can cash in on any champion he chooses. Probably be the world champion. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Frankie Gazarian won the the X Division Championship. We had that. We had the Motor City Machine Guns win the tag team belts. Obviously, so basically every title changed hands. I don't know about the Impact Women's Championship, the Knockouts Championship. I I, I think that Jordan Grace retained. I have to watch that again, but it is was. So speaking of other women, the prophecy is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have gold back around our waist. Taya Valkyrie and Jessica, the Deadly Dolls, along with my demon assassin, my demon bride, Rosemary, won the Impact Women's Tag Team titles back from VXT or Deanna Perazzo and Chelsea Green. So the prophecy has gold back around our sexy waists once again. And that's all I got to say about that. You think we're dead? No! We're just beginning. We're just getting started. And come 2023, we're going to be a house. We're going to be a force to be reckoned with, ladies and gentlemen. When we get when we get to 2023, I guarantee that. That's all. That's it. So congratulations to Jessica Havoc. We all know Jessica Havoc. And Taya Valkyrie. And Rosemary, can't forget Rosemary, and Crazy Steve, and Black Taurus. Back, go back around those beautiful people's waists. That's all I got to say about that. Let me move on from there. All right, so let, really quickly, I want to get to your Extreme Fools 2022 predictions. Extreme Rules comes your way tonight at 8 p.m. on pay-per-view or Peacock. If you have Peacock, that's that. Uh, comes your way from, where is this goddamn pay-per-view going to be held? I know it's in Philadelphia, but what arena? The Wells Fargo Center in that shithole known as Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And um, probably be Michael Cole and Corey Graves and maybe Ray Barrett on, at, um, on commentary tonight. Maybe Byron Thaxon, but I doubt that. Fuck him, by the way. <laughs> but it is what it is. You know, Byron, uh, some of that, Byron, sorry. Michael Cole and Bad News Wade bad it last night on SmackDown. Not bad. Not bad. But we'll get to that later. Alright, so we have six matches on this card. 
for a three hour show, uh, pretty much about a three hour show. Six matches. Well, most of them are going to go pretty long. Well, long. I would think the uh, the ladder match is going to go at least 20 minutes. Uh, the I Quit match between Edge and Fiend Batter probably go maybe 30, 20, 30 minutes, maybe? That might be the la the well, that and maybe the Fight Pit match between Matt Riddle and Seth fucking Ro freaking Rollins, I think it'll probably be the, uh, the longest match of the night. Um, there might be a, a match added to the card. I mean, you know, card subject to change, of course. So they might add one during the during the show, the or the pre-show, or during the show. But you know, also with the entrances and everything that's going on with that, the entrances, the interviews, and hype packages. You know, got to get three hours in somehow. But it is what it is. And also tonight is the night. That the White Rabbit appears. Now, we all know it's going to be Bray Wyatt. But there's a part of me in the deep, deep pit of my gut that thinks it might be Joe Gacy. But from what we saw on SmackDown last night, it, it's got to be Bray Wyatt. It has to be. If it's not Bray Wyatt, you know there's going to be a humongous riot in the, in the, in the uh, crowd in Philadelphia. There's going to be a boycott. So, if if Hunter and Stephanie, hi Steph, if, uh, if you two are smart, and I know you are, please have Bray Wyatt be the White Rabbit, not do the stupid Survivor Series crap where the gobbledygooker was, was dressed up as, the, well, the Undertaker dressed up as, well, actually, it was Hector Guerrero, I think it was, dressed up as the gobbledygooker. But it's, it's Bray Wyatt. It's gotta be Bray Wyatt. Where, where, where does he come out? We don't know. I don't know when he's, where, when he's coming out and who he's going after. But, if I had to make a guess, I would think he comes out at the end of the show. Makes his intentions known who he's going to go after. Maybe it'd be Seth freaking Rollins. Maybe it'd be Rat Riddle. I don't know. Maybe he joins the Judgment Day. I doubt that, but... You never know. But, yeah. I mean, we saw the QR code with Hunter talking, because Hunter, you know, Hunter was there last night. And then we saw the, the video of the little bunny going to an X and then goes straight to hell. Pfft, fire comes out. Then we see uh, Let Him In appear. And then this little thing that unscrambles to feed feed your head. Feed your head! Yeah. So we saw, we had that. And then um, we saw a bunny in a bunny costume. No, it wasn't it wasn't the bunny from uh, Adam Rose's bunnies, you know. Be a lemon! You know? Don't be a lemon. Be a rosebud. You know, not that one. Not that one that was that was dressed up in so many I mean so many people dressed up as I was uh, Justin Gabriel and Sami Zayn and all those people. Not that guy. But yeah, so we had a rabbit like go around the crowd and then it just popped up behind Michael Cole and and Wade Barrett. So that was basically the final stuff that we found out about about the about the white rabbit, you know, with you know Satan and the wolf and the pig and vulture shit like that. We all know it's very white. But you know, Joe Gacy's putting things up on his Instagram saying, you know, with the white rabbit emojis and people thinking it's Ryback. <laughs> yeah, right. Not right back. Feed me more. No. It, it, it's not Gacy. I doubt it's Gacy. I, I, I made a joke, you know, on Issa's chat room, in chat room. It's like, hey, the White Rabbit's Paul London. Remember when Paul London was in Lucha Underground looking for the White Rabbit? And he led to him being Killer Cross? It's not Killer Cross, I'll tell you that much. That would be that would be awesome, but not my you know my, sorry Mike not you not you. Why wait? Go. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, bye. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I think if it's Killer Cross, I mean, very pretty damn good, but it's we all know. But you never know. If it's not Bray Wyatt, people are gonna riot. I just say that. And like I said, where is he, is he gonna show up? 
Are we gonna see more videos? Are we gonna see more QR codes that lead to something during the night? We'll see what happens with that. All right, so like I said, six matches on the card. Let me get to these predictions really quick. And that's pretty much it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna start off, and this is coming from the Wikipedia page as always. So I'm gonna start off with the, you know what, I'll go from, uh, well, I'll keep the fight pit match last, cause that's the, what will probably be the main event of the evening between Matt, Matt Riddle and Seth freaking Rollins in a fight pit. But I'm gonna start off with the, the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey, the Hot Rod. Now, this is their third match. This is now an Extreme Rules match, which means anything goes. Pinfall, submission, or knockout, I guess. Um, you know, this is Ronda's type of match. Basically, you know, no rules. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. She can use her MMA stuff. Liv's never been in an Extreme Rules match. But she comes in as the champ. Feud has been okay. But does she go 3-0 against Ronda? That's tough to say. I'm going to go with Ronda. But there's a but and it always fucking stinks. Not mine, but the trolls. <laughs> but I think Ronda Rousey will win this match. But I do see Shayna Baszler possibly getting involved in this match. Costing Shayna the match. Sorry. Costing Ronda the match, Liv will retain. Why well, I don't know. And then hopefully after that we'll see Ronda and Sh and Shayna Baszler possibly going one on one at the Survivor Series, which I kind of predicted two months ago on fa uh, my good buddy fan of YouTube's uh, little video about Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey. I think it was that yeah I think it was that one or the 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 recent one he put up. Where I, I said Shayna Baszler and Ronda are going to fight. And I got like, I haven't checked the last time I, I made that comment. But at last check was like over 230 likes. Thank you. That wasn't for me. You can't prove it's for me. So, so maybe my prediction comes true at the Survivor Series. We have Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Maybe that would be a fight pit match in the future. But we'll see. But as far as this match goes, I'm going to go with uh, Ronda Rousey to reclaim the SmackDown Women's Championship. There's rumors Charlotte Flair might come in. I doubt that, but you never know in this wacky world of wrestling. And that's it. All right. After that, so Ronda will win the SmackDown Women's title back. All right. Then we go to a, a good old-fashioned scrap match. Pitting Drew McIntyre as he takes on Killer Cross with the lovely, vivacious Scarlet Bordeaux at ringside. Now, I don't know if this is a traditional scrap match or it's going to be, you know, where they hit, the, hit the, the turnbuckles in succession. But I think it's just like a pinfall submission match, which is stupid. But, but this is going to be a hard-hitting, brutal type of match. But, you know, Killer Cross coming back and then going after Drew right before Clash of the Castle. And then afterwards, he after the Clash of the Castle pay-per-view, he comes, uh, he returns again and beats the crap out of Drew the last couple weeks. Um, especially with a missed fireball by Scarlet. But, in, but Cross choked him out the last couple weeks. And then we saw last week, Drew... Made the challenge for the strap match. And they had a little fight. This, I mean, last night they had a fight. You know, Drew comes from behind during the his epic entrance. Or Killer Cross epic entrance. And beats down Killer Cross. But then... Uh, Scarlet kind of made another uh, distraction. And uh, Killer Cross basically beat the living shit out of Drew. With the strap, like like hitting him really hard in the back, throwing, you know, bringing him into the ring post, and just basically laying him out. So, like I said, it's going to be a brutal match. 
Both men are going to be having welts for days. But I'm going to go with Killer Cross to pick up the win here. I know it's going to suck for Drew. You know, two pay-per-views in a row he loses. But, I mean, really, they're pushing Killer Cross to the moon. And possible next challenger for Roman. Uh, probably at the Survivor Series, maybe at day one. I don't know, but because I read that AJ Styles was going to be the next challenger, they might scrap that. I don't know. But, I mean, if it's AJ, it's going to be a pretty decent feud. And, you know, we all know Roman beat AJ, like, like a couple years ago at the Survivor Series. But, so, not going to be any, any anything new for Roman. Roman's going to beat AJ to bits. Then I think at, at possibly at day one, he'll get Killer Cross. That'd be a big feud. I think that would be a great feud. And, um... Roman may win or Killer Cross wins by disqualification. Um, and then maybe Cody Rose comes back by the Royal Rumble, wins the Royal Rumble, then maybe wins at the elim. Well, I don't think he'll be at the Elimination Chamber unless he's inside the chamber, which I don't think he should be, but we'll see. And that's probably going to be in Saudi Arabia. Why? I don't know, but who cares? So, but yeah, I usually see Roman probably losing at at uh, either at WrestleMania, not to The Rock, or loses at the next pay per view. Probably be the May pay per view, which will probably be what's the next Backlash. Maybe she should lose at a major pay per view, which will be WrestleMania. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But going back to Killer Cross, he's gonna beat the crap out of Drew McIntyre. Scarlett will probably get involved somehow. Maybe show her boobs. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. I got Killer Cross to win that. Alright, after that, <clears throat> we go to the Raw Women's Championship match. Ladder match between Bianca Belair. She's Bianca Belair. She plays for the hairs. Like for the hairs, Bianca Belair. So, uh, she'll be with Miss Bliss, Alexa Bliss, and Asuka, my, my favorite person in the whole wide world, my number one wifey, Asuka. Nobody is ready for Asuka, said my dick. Uh, she takes on Bailey. Don't give me a hug. Uh, with her, with her girls or goyles in damage control, Dakota Kai and my third wife, Eo Sky. Uh, this is gonna be a good match. I think it's the first ever. Well, I don't know if this is the first ever, but the uh, I believe it's the first ever one-on-one -on -one women's ladder match. I could be wrong on that, but. Now, my memory is kind of foggy, but, you know, I'm old. <laughs> but this should be a pretty damn good match. Um, you know, damage control. Basically running rough shot the last couple months. Ever since SummerSlam, when Bailey came back with Dakota and EO. And then took them a couple weeks for Dakota and EO to get the women's tag team belts. And now Bailey's going after Bianca because that feud, you know, really never ended. Bailey comes back from a knee injury because she's lost the SmackDown Women's Title back, back, back SmackDown <coughs> Women's Title back uh, about a year or so ago. Now she's back. Now she wants revenge on Bianca, and then you bring in Alexa Bliss and Oscar into this situation, and you got a big mess. Uh, so Bailey's like, I get what I want, and I'm gonna get it, and I think she will get the Women's Championship tonight. From Bianca, because Bianca's held that belt for so long, and I think it's too long, and it's getting pathetic and boring. So, so Bailey will get the win, and get back the Royal Women's Championship, and Damage Control will have all of the women's gold after tonight. But we'll see what happens with that. So, Bailey will get the win, and we'll move on from there. That's a... Uh, Pretty much it. And we move on from there. Alright, then we go to the I Quit match. The old-fashioned I Quit match between between Fiend Matter of Judgment Day with Damian Priest, uh, Rhea Ripley, and Dominic Mysterio. No, Rhea's... No, no Dominic's mommy, Rhea will be there. Because we all know, as we all know, Dominic Mysterio is not Rey Mysterio's son. We, know, we all know who his poppy is, right? 
Eddie Galero es el Achino Heat. Yeah. It's proven, too. <laughs> anyway, so Finn Balor with the Judgment Day takes on Hey Kids. It's Edge. So, Finn Balor versus Edge in an I Quit match. This is going to be hard hitting, brutal. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, Damian and Dominic and Rhea will definitely be at ringside or at least get involved in this match. Uh, Edge coming coming back from his pilmanized knee, which really wasn't pilmanized, but just took two weeks off. <laughs> so, yeah, Edge wanted to get revenge and try to end the entire Judgment Day, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'm going to go with Edge to win. Because I had him uh, penned in the win anyway. Uh, so, we got that. So, Edge... Edge, there, blah, blah, blah. Edge Stain will beat Finn Balor. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if Rey Mysterio will get involved. I probably will see him down there. But he might get involved. Maybe do something with Dominic. Maybe finally beat his, his son. You know, beat him up a little bit. Which is... <laughs> You know, not good, but, so we'll get that, and, uh, I don't know about AJ bad hairstyles, but he might come down, try to get revenge or something like that. Maybe he joins up with Judgment Day tonight. I don't know, but we'll see. But I got an edge to win, and that's it. All right, then we got a good old-fashioned Donnybrook match, which basically anything goes. Uh, basically got a fight. We got the Brawling Brutes. Seamus Fella! Rich Holland and Butch. Take it on in Pidium! Hmm. Of the Intercontinental Champion, he's still the champion, although there was controversy last night. Walter Ludwig Kaiser and Fabian Eichner, otherwise known as Giovanni Vinci. So, this is going to be a slobber knocker, as JR would say. Both, both teams are going to beat the fuck out of each other. Uh, in the end, I'm going to go with the Brawling Brutes to get the win. And I think we're going to see a third match between Sheamus and Walter for the Intercontinental title. But I don't know if there'll be a stipulation with that. I don't know. Because it looked like Walter tapped. But if you if you saw the replay, uh, Jessica Carr, the referee, you know, Walter's like, boom, boom. And Jessica's like, no, no, no tap, no tap. And then Walter was on... Um, Instagram, not Instagram, I think it was Twitter saying, saying it was a Brazilian, something Brazilian knuckle, t I don't know what it was, something Brazilian, but it wasn't a tap out, as he says, but Seamus, Seamus like, yeah, you tap, dude, everybody else in the arena thought it was a tap, Michael Cohen, Wade Barrett thought it was a tap, I thought it was a tap, but, you know, referee's decision is final, and, um, you know, after Walter, uh, Got distracted by uh, by the rest of the Imperium. Oh, sorry, Seamus got distracted. Basically, Walter hit the clothesline. One, two, three, done. So he retains the Intercontinental title. Fire controversy, which sucks. But good match still. Good bang banger of a match. That's that. But this match is a six-man tag. I'm going to go with the Brawling Bruce to get the win. Big, beefy men slapping meat. And that's all I got to say about that. Alright, um... Alright, then we go to the main... Which should be the main event. In the fight pit, Matt Riddle against Seth freaking Rollins with Daniel Cormier as the special guest ref. This is going to be a brutal match. I mean, it's Matt Riddle's house, basically. I mean, you got two MMA guys in there and Seth fucking Ro freaking Rollins. So that's never been in a type of match like this, but every other match he's been in, he wins. So, you would think he's going to win, but I think Matt Riddle is going to pick up the victory. I think Daniel Cormier will definitely get involved somehow in the match, maybe costing Seth Rollins the match, obviously, because, you know, Seth's going to try to cheat, but it is what it is. So, that's all I got to say about that. So, Matt Riddle will finally get over Seth Rollins. He'll w finally win this, hopefully this feud will end after this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens on Monday Night Raw this Monday in from Brooklyn, New York with the DX reunion. The bloodline's going to be there and everybody's happy. And that's that. 
So, Matt Riddle will win the feud, and then I don't know what's going to happen after that. But we'll see what happens. Alright, so my final predictions uh, for Extreme Rules are as follows. Ronda Rousey to win the SmackDown Women's Championship back from Liv Morgan. Matt Riddle to beat Seth freaking Rollins in the fight pit. I got Killer Cross to win the scrap match over Drew McIntyre. I got Bailey to uh, to get the Raw Women's Championship in that ladder match with Bianca Belair. Uh, I got Edge to beat Finn Balor. I think he's going to make him tap. Uh, well, make him tap or actually say I quit. And in the Donny Brook match, I got the Brawling Brutes to get the win. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, Bray Wyatt will appear where? Don't know. But we'll see where he does end up. Like I said, there might be some QR codes tonight. Just just the hype is like, oh, he's coming. We don't know where he's going to be. Maybe there'll be bunnies in the crowd. Maybe maybe somebody would dress up as a bunny on commentary. I don't know. But should be a pretty good good, good uh, night of action. But this card looks pretty damn good for the first time in a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to an Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Even though I'm going to be watching most mostly watching GCW. But, and the Mech game, don't forget. I oh, we got that. Alright, so that's my predictions. Thank you all for watching. Leave your predictions down below in the comments section. Don't forget to smash that like button. Stick it straight up, you, the you know what. And uh, subscribe to this channel and my other channels as well, down below. So, uh, follow me on, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Share the video over the internet. Don't forget to tap that bell and get notified when I do a video like this or when I go live, which I'll be going live probably about 40, half hour, 45 minutes from now. With my SmackDown Rampage Battle of the Belts review on the Killer Demons channel. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so I'm Peter Gilmore. I'm signing off. Peace out, rock on, and rock hard with your Goku. And if you're not down with that, ho ho, that's too damn bad for you because I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. And that's it. Peter Gilmore signing off. And I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.